Hi and welcome to this new tutorial series where we'll be focusing on the C Sharp programming languages. So we're going to be starting from the base down um, and working our way up. So we're going to be starting with a C Sharp console application at first and we'll be building up into the graphical user interfaces where we'll be eventually integrating with our APIs that we've built with PowerShell using RESTPS. And eventually we'll be building full applications that integrate with Active Directory, uh, can pull information down using our APIs, and then update information also using our APIs. So let's go ahead and let's actually start on how to create our C Sharp console application, how to save it, and how to actually uh, run those applications as well. So let's actually get started. So I'm not gonna cover how to install Visual Studio 2022 in this video. I do have a video on that on my channel and I will be actually putting that uh, link in the description down below. So to make sure to check that out if you haven't done that already. But all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and launch our Visual Studio 2022. And what we are actually going to do is we are going to go ahead and we are actually going to create a new project here. And in here, uh, in the new create a new project, so let me actually just zoom back in here for a bit. Uh, we are actually going to see that uh, these little icons at the top right here, uh, some of them say VB for Visual Basic and some of them have the C and then a, a hashtag or a pound sign, which is gonna be for C Sharp. We're always gonna make sure that we are on the C Sharp version and we're gonna be creating a console application. All right, so then we're gonna be clicking on next here and we're just gonna name this uh, for our test here. We're gonna create a hello world application. Um, I probably already have one here, so I'm just gonna create one with hello world test one. And in here, it's going to give you the framework. Uh, so here, depending on what you have installed, if you have Visual Studio 2022, you should have .NET 6 installed, which that's what we are gonna be using in our video series here. Um, but you might also just have .NET 5, which that is perfectly fine. The code does not change from .NET 5 and .NET 6. The only thing that does change is the template that comes with the console application. Uh, which I will be showing you guys that in just a little bit, that difference there. Um, but the actual code, like I said, does not change. Uh, so either one really works for these videos. So we're going to go ahead and click on Create down here. And this is going to open up our Visual Studio 2022. And here we have the code. And you actually have a link here uh, that if we click on this link, it will actually open up our web page. Um, that actually shows you the differences between uh, .NET 6 and .NET 5. So here is the uh, version with .NET 6, and here is the version with .NET 5. So .NET 6 already takes care of all this overhead that we have here with the namespace and the class and the main uh, method. Uh, so all we have here is just the simple console.writeline hello world. So as we can see here, we can actually erase this all together. And then we have our, just our console.writeline. So to actually execute this and run this application, we can come up here and we're gonna see that there is a play button uh, and then another play button, which if you hover over it, it says start without debugging. So if you do wanna run the debugger, you're gonna wanna run um, the play button, which is fully covered. Uh, but for here, we don't really need the debugger. So we are just going to start without debugging. And then we get our console application that pops up and we do get the hello world. And then just prompts us to press any key to close the window. So we can go ahead and do that. So basically what we have here is we are specifying the console, uh, which is that main output window. And then we are doing a method called write line, and then we are writing the string of hello world. So we're gonna go a little bit more in depth into this um, in the next video where we cover data types and variables. Uh, but basically hello world is a string and we are using the method write line in the console. Uh, so that covers 
pretty much everything in uh, this video uh, so far. You guys are basically all ready to go. Um, and then the only thing we need to know is how to save. So we can just go ahead and uh, save all here. And this will save everything in the application. And then we can close out of it. So with that being said, you guys are ready for that next video of the data types and variables, which should be out in a couple days. So make sure you guys keep your eyes out for that. And if you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. And if you guys have any topics that you guys would like to be covered in the C Sharp tutorial series, make sure to leave that down below as well. And I will do my best to cover that in this tutorial series. Uh, so make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.